Hey everyone, it's Dave here. And it's Tom. Halo Wars 2 has finally been announced at the Microsoft conference, and surprisingly we were given a beta access. This lasts until the 20th of June, and the full game is slated for February next year. So there's plenty of time to tinker with the build they've got going on here. And it must be stressed, of course, this is an early build, this is a beta, and as such things are going to improve and there will be hitches in networking and frame rate and such. It's all par for course, really. So what are we seeing here, Dave? Right, well, we've got a native uh, 1080p presentation, and actually one of the things that stood out for me is it's actually a very clean-looking game. There's very little in the way of aliasing, so all of your small units and things on screen are very clear and well-defined. Nice, so I guess one point of reference would be the original game. How would you say it compares visually to that? Well, there's a big improvement in several areas. So the main thing that I've noticed is the uh, lighting provides a lot more depth uh, to the scene this time. And of course, materials react more realistically. So the presentation has just been brought up to date with many of the uh, current gen rendering standards you'd expect. So more dynamic lighting, more shadows, just a more refined realistic presentation I guess. And this is of course developed by Creative Assembly, more well known for the Total War series. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's it looks like it's in good hands. So the first Halo Wars was developed by Ensemble Studios that created Age of Empires, so they've got another sort of top tier RTS developer working on this one. And this is coming to PC as well. Curiously no cross-platform play announced so far, but uh, that may change. There's been announcements that it could happen potentially if there's a mouse and keyboard support on Xbox One. Uh, it's all a bit up in the air, but for now they're kind of segregated. And if you're on Xbox One, you'll be playing against Xbox One players. In this case, we're playing a domination match 2v2, which is what this beta is limited to. And let's have a talk about the frame rate. Well, at the moment, it looks like Creative Assembly are targeting 30 frames per second for this build at least. And, uh, well, as you can see, performance is quite variable depending on what is going on. Yeah, you can really see the drops to about 25 FPS when units kind of congest in one spot. And that comes along with tearing as well, which, I don't know, do you notice it a lot during play in a game like this, a top-down RTS? or is it uh, not too perceptible? Well, I guess it depends on uh, sort of how you're playing the game. For the most part, I don't think the tearing is that visible. It mainly occurs when you're sort of rotating the camera in areas where there's lots going on. So in that respect, the tears can appear as a kind of a wobble or judder on screen. But if you're not quickly moving around the environment continuously, then the tearing's not so much of an issue. The frame rate can cause a few problems in areas where it drops quite low, say to the mid to low 20s, as the uh, button presses can feel a bit laggy and that can be a bit distracting. But, you know, it doesn't make the game unplayable. It's an RTS, so it's fairly slow paced in terms of uh, controlling your units, but it's just an area that could be improved. Right, well, hopefully it will be. It is early days. We've got months before release and let's see what happens. Okay, so that about covers it. Thanks for joining me on this one, Tom. If you enjoyed this analysis, don't forget to give us a like and remember to subscribe to support Digital Foundry. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. The enemy has destroyed one of our buildings.